Hey everyone, welcome back to our midweek devotion of Pastor Sergio and I trust that you guys are doing well and that you are coping under the circumstances which we find ourselves now in during this extension of our lockdown. While I was sitting and thinking about where we find ourselves, I was reminded of words found in the book of Proverbs, which King Solomon writes as he identifies in his life during a time which his father had shared with him words of wisdom. And I believe that these words of wisdom are so relevant for us as men and women as we go through this time, as it clearly provides a standard by which we are to live by, because it's words which God has given to his people, and it's wisdom that is obtained in the writing of Proverbs, which are there for practical use and application in our lives today. There are so many memories attached to this particular verse for me as an individual. And it's with that in mind that I just want to share with you this afternoon, this evening with your families, whenever you do watch this video. And I pray that it will bless you as it has blessed me over the years. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence out of it springs the issues of life. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 to 23. The Lord bless the reading of his word. Men and women, for you and for many out there, we find ourselves in a spate of circumstances which could be very overwhelming for us. But even in a time like this, I'm reminded of these words that oftentimes people make use of Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 and they only quote that particular verse where it says, keep your heart with all diligence, out of it springs the issues of life. In other words, as Henry Lackaby puts it here, God knows that your heart's affection determines your life's direction. What does that mean for us as individuals? What do we experience? What does our hearts determine for us? And how do we follow what our hearts are saying to us? When I look at the scripture now, I look at everything that the preceding verses says to what that verse means. Before, as a young person, I most likely just looked at that particular verse and said, okay, I need to guard my heart because against all things and out of it springs the issues of life. And it became one of my favorite verses because during my age, um, young, my youth days rather, while courting a friend of mine, uh, we had an awesome time as young people and I will never forget her mom who made reference to the decisions that we make determining our future. And I think it was clear that we had to guard our hearts. Everything we plan or do comes from our desires of our hearts. And everything we ever dreamed of comes from a desire that is found within our hearts. Everything you dreamt of is a desire that births within our hearts. And when Henry Blackaby makes reference to that, that God knows our hearts and our affection, and it is determined by the direction in our life, he's saying to us that we are to guard our hearts and protect those myriad of dangers that surround us. You see, God's word guides us and it makes provision for us. And it is the key to keeping our hearts pure and safe. I never really understood what my friend's mom said at that particular point in time. But later on coming to learn that the decisions we make today certainly determines our future. And considering it deeply, in the current circumstances I find myself in, as we find ourselves, there are indeed circumstances that we need to guard our hearts. And it's not 
by choices we are going to make, by decisions that we need to make. And the decision that I'm making is by putting my trust in the Lord. It's a decision that I know that if I put my trust in the Lord, I'm guarding my heart, I'm guarding my walk, and I'm guarding the direction in which I want to go. And if I think if we follow our own plans and our own devices, we might find ourselves coming short. Beloved, guarding our hearts protects us from the merit of danger, as Henry Blackaby says. And it demands that we are purposeful in our actions. For example, verse 20 to 21 says, My son, give attention to my words and incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. So we are encouraged here to read the word of God and do not let the word of God depart from us. The words, the sayings, we are to incline our ears to it. We are to allow uh, to make the time for the reading of his word and to keep it in the midst of our hearts. It's a very difficult time to even pick up our Bibles, if we are honest with ourselves. It's a very difficult time to build ourselves and our families up in faith during this time. But we are encouraged not to let these words depart from us, that we are to pay attention to what the scriptures are saying. We are here also to ensure that when we do that, we are guarding our hearts. It sounds like we need to make the effort in seeking to read the scriptures. It sounds as if we have to make the effort here to meditate day and night on the word of God. As Psalms 1 verse 3 says, In fact, I can go one step further if we are honest with ourselves, that if we do this, we are walking in honesty and we are walking in righteousness and we are walking in the steadfastness that is represented in the scripture. And the goal thereof is to live a life that represents the glory of God. Walking in Christ and in the words of God is no casual thing. It takes wisdom, it takes courage, it takes knowledge. And for you and I to find the wisdom and the knowledge and the courage, we need to go to the word of God. And it is the only thing I know that safeguards us and guards our lives and protects our footsteps and leads us to a place of peace and understanding. I'm encouraged by these words, which Solomon writes here. Keep your hearts with all diligence. For out of it springs the issue of life. If I look at my life today and I think about the decisions I've made, then it has definitely determined my future. And I'm grateful for people who have been people of influence. And I want to say thank you to the Lord for those people. Don't disregard men and women who have spoken words of wisdom to you. Clearly, Solomon, King Solomon, took the words of his father, these words of wisdom, which have become a practical guideline for him in life, when, and a practical guideline for us as we consider them today, to pay attention to the words of the Lord, to incline our ear to his sayings, and do not allow these words to depart from our eyes. Let us meditate on the word of God day and night. Let us read the scripture because it will help us guard our thoughts. It will help us guard our hearts. And it will certainly help us walk a life that is diligent in him. It will help us present ourselves blameless before him. It will help us show the life Christ has purpose for us. And like good friends mom said, the decisions we make today determines our future. God's words are the key to guarding our hearts from keeping it pure and safe. And it will certainly ensure that we reach the future that God has intended for us. So to you, our broader family, we send our love and our greetings and we ask that God watch over you and he would guard your hearts against the pressures of life and that we will continue to make decisions that honor him amidst our circumstances. For we are not a people without hope. 
and constantly reminded that there is hope in the Lord. May God bless you. May God keep you. May the Lord continue to make His face shine upon you and lift up His countenance towards you and be gracious. And may you, His people, continue to experience God's peace. May God bless you. Amen.